What's up, Restoration Nation? This is Pastor Steve Harris coming to you from my garage. That's my car back there, my ride. Um, wanted to come to you with another episode of The Grind. And what is The Grind? Well, I'm talking to all my entrepreneur friends out there and all my church planner friends because there is a similarity. There's a lot of overlap that comes with that. And um, I want to give some encouragement to people who are going through it, been through it, still going through it, about to go through it. And you don't have to be religious to get this. Um, I am a pastor, and I, uh, you know, I, I go by God's word. I've also been blessed to have people that have given me insight into today's economy and today's things. And so I kind of got the best of both worlds and to a certain extent. Um, I'm not a fan of some things I've heard from people and other things I have. So I'm just going to share with you what I've learned and maybe this will uh, help you along your way. So today I want to talk to you about um, the immediate urge to quit. Some people don't have that. Some people do. Some people, they have to be worn down before they quit. Some people, they fold like a deck of cards in a heartbeat. I remember when I first started what was then Millville Community Church, and now it's um, Restoration House. And I remember it was, it was kind of like in the beginning, it was, it was exciting and scary all at the same time. And there were some other things that we were starting and doing, and I believe God was putting his hand on us and just having us in all kinds of stuff. And, you know, it, 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 if for a moment it was cool and I was getting all this notoriety and I was getting awards and um, these politicians were coming up and shaking my hand and wanted to know me more and this and that, and I kind of felt like, yeah, this is cool. Until the night that it was during the summer and it was the night I went to bed and I had been working hard, not taking a break. I woke up in the middle of the night and my heart was beating like you wouldn't believe. It was just totally like, just blah, 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 blah. Man, like what in the world is going on? And in essence, um, I thought I was having a heart attack. I thought I'm either having a stroke or a heart attack or something. And when I went through it, it scared me. My wife called 911. They brought an ambulance uh, that came to our house in the middle of the night. I'm 300 pounds, six foot five, just to give you an idea how big I am. Those of you who don't know me. And they came into the bedroom, put me on this chair, which then put me on a stretcher, which then put me to the hospital. I had no idea what I was gonna see next. Was I gonna see Jesus personally? Was I gonna be on an operating table? What was gonna happen? I had no idea. I had no clue, but I'll tell you this, through it all, after they figured out that it was stress, I started figuring out that I needed to take a break. And the expectations that I put on myself, let alone others put on me, were too much. And they were unrealistic. And when you do something, like starting something from scratch, whether it's your own business, your, own, you know, your church, uh, organization, you know, whatever, you got to be patient to think it's just going to pop into existence and just like immediately just get up and running is not exactly reality. Does it happen? Yeah, it could, you know, there's people that have started things and just roll with it. I get it, but I don't see a lot of those conversations or those stories. I see more of the, oh crap. This failed, this thing's about to, to, to you know, go down the tubes and I quit. Or I was ready to quit. Or I should quit. <laughs> and that's how I felt. And I, I went back and forth in my mind, in my heart. Maybe I shouldn't do this anymore. Maybe I should take a whole bunch of steps back and just kind of like take it easy and not push so hard. Well, I couldn't do that, but I could balance it. And it's just like I said in my last video, if you, um, if you think about it from a runner's perspective, if you think about it from 
like if you're a jogger, you don't wind sprint through the whole thing. You pace yourself. And as you pace yourself to be put in a position to then go into that final lap, that, that stride that you need to step up to then fight for the finish line, you'll get there. You'll get there. But I can remember just feeling like I had to save the city of Millville within like one year or less, or I got a free Happy Meal type of thing. And that's, and that's just something that, um, you know, I, I just thought I was all of a sudden the savior, and I'm not. And I know who put me here. I know why he put me here, but I also was not him to be the savior, if you guys know what I mean through faith. So for those of you who don't, and you're not into that, um, let's just say understanding balance and harmony of life. So there is a time to work. There is a time to relax. There is a time to eat. There is a time to sleep. There is a time to do this and that. You get the point. And I really didn't know what that looked like, especially as if you are even ill. Oh my goodness, it's Monday. Um, and that breeze feels so good right now. Um, I can remember, I can remember it like it was plain as day that I had all this freedom all of a sudden I didn't have either. Working for somebody, you were constantly on the clock, you were, you were dealing with things and that going for years. Now all of a sudden, you're on your own clock. And that has its pluses and minuses. Plus is, if you get out of bed an hour later, as long as you don't have anything scheduled, you're fine. Uh, but if you do, or you notice that you're getting behind on all kinds of stuff, then ain't gonna fly. So let me encourage you, and then I'm gonna ask for your participation. I don't know where you're at right now. I don't know what stage you are in planning, you're already into it, or whatever, but, but let's get back to the subject of quitting. Um, quitting's easy. Quitting is just like pulling a plug and just saying, okay, show's over, it's done. Wind it down, it's history. And that's pretty much probably what the world is telling you anyway, that you're not gonna succeed. Why would you do this? You're stupid, just stay in the job you're at, just do the safe thing and have a good life. There's no adventure in that. And to me, I didn't like the adventure at first. Now, four years in, I'm getting used to it. It's getting better. I have a long ways to go, and I'm sure one day when I look back on this video, two, three, four years from now, I'm gonna be like, wow, remember when? So, if I can encourage you to think about this, what does your balance look like? Are you out of balance? Are you looking at things and just saying, you know, like, all right, I do too much work, not enough play. I do too much play and not, too much, and not enough work. You know, what does that look like? The second thing to think about is this. You're not alone. You think you are. You think you're the only one that's going through what you're going through right now. It's a lie. Because there are tons of people out there trying to do the same thing you are. They may be doing it at a different scale. It might be different ideas, different uh, businesses or different philosophies, whatever but you're not the only one, and you're not the only one that's tried it. <laughs> so, let me ask you this. If you could do me a favor, guys. First of all, give a, a big thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to Restoration House Media Network, and so that way you can get uh, the notifications when they come in. And the third thing I wanna ask is, in the comments below, right there, okay? Um, tell me what you're up against right now where you feel you wanna quit. Give me some idea of where you're at, what you're doing, and how you just think, you know what, I just need to quit, I just need to quit. And I'm gonna try to encourage you, as much as I can, don't quit. There is a time that Seth Godin said to quit, but most of the time it's not. And sometimes it is flat out like, all right, this really isn't working, it's time to, go in a different direction. That's not a bad thing. I'm talking about the type of quit where you just go, this is too hard, I can't take this, I'm done. And I don't have time to get into marriage because that's another one. 
where people do that all too easy. And I was one of them on my previous marriage. So anyway, guys, give me your comments below. I want to hear from you. And, you know, I promise I will get back to you and I will engage in that conversation. And let's see what we can do together to, um, you know, to work through some things. Okay? So um, have a great one. God bless you. And I will see you soon.